Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency, Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started this week by attending AgroFest 2022 in Barbados, where he made several major announcements. Speaking at the event, Dr. Ali noted that the Black Belly Sheep project between Guyana and Barbados will be expanded. We are setting aside 50 acres of land to be owned by young people as part of the Black Belly Sheep project in Guyana. 50 acres to be owned by persons with disability. 50 acres to be owned by single parent women and importantly 50 acres that will be owned by your young people here in Barbados. President Ali said the partnership between Guyana and the Barbados sets a model for other CARICOM states to follow to achieve a regional food security and to confront some of the global challenges facing the region including the rising cost of our food. Like many other developing economies when there is a shortage of supply, we are not the top priority for the demand that exists. That is why we have to fix this. And we have to fix it as a collective. We have to understand that the challenges that will come will impact us the most. And our only tool to mitigate those challenges is increasing our own production, removing sometimes the thoughtless impediments to trading between ourselves. The president said once the results of this model are realized, it can be replicated across the entire region. However, for this to work effectively, the head of state said Caribbean countries cannot see themselves as competitors. We have to see ourselves as a singular collective, a singular partner working together for one common goal and vision. That is to give the best possible opportunity to the people of our country, to bring prosperity to the people of our country, to put food on the tables of our people in this region at a less cost, at a sustainable cost, and in a healthy, in a much healthier fashion. His Excellency also visited the site where seven acres of land has been earmarked for the construction of the Guyana Barbados Food Terminal in Lierza St. Michael, Barbados. Once completed, the terminal will have the capacity to store more than 40 containers of food and will be equipped with a processing and packaging plant and a cold storage facility. The area will also have a large reservoir for water storage and the land set aside for crop production. President Ali commended the Barbados government for moving the process forward for the construction of the terminal, which is expected to facilitate the movement of food between the two countries and others in CARICOM. For that to happen, these two countries have to lead the way in changing the way we think, changing the way we relate, changing the way, and that is why at a political level, at a policy making level, we're driving that. At a public service level, the bureaucratic level, at a private sector level, level it also has to occur. So I want to assure Prime Minister Motley and the people of Barbados that you have a reliable partner in Guyana. His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali on Tuesday also witnessed the swearing-in of members of the Police Service Commission and the Integrity Commission. Chandra Gatraj is now the chairperson of the Integrity Commission, with other members being former magistrate Kim Kai Thomas, former teacher Mohamed Hanif, Hardish Tawari and Wei Bowman. 
Members of the Police Service Commission are Patrick Finlay, Attorney at Law Lloyd Conway, Ernest Chuafat, and Haki Mohammed. As President, I have the confidence that the people appointed today, the Guyanese appointed today, not only have the skills, but they have the character to execute the duties that they are called upon to execute. Dr. Ali also announced a one-off cash grant of $150,000 for each fisher folk to cushion the effects of low catches. We're going to help you with a one-off grant of $150,000. This is an immediate step that we are taking to make a direct transfer to you, to assist you, in addition to all that we're doing expand the industry. So today, I am pleased to announce that after the complete assessment, after we have examined our revenue streams and our finances, we were able to make this announcement of $150,000 one-off grant to our fishing board. His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali praised the performers that were part of the cultural celebration at the 56th Independence Anniversary Flag Raising Ceremony at Damon Square, Anna Regina, Region 2. A number of singers, dancers, poets, and technical persons gathered at State House on Tuesday for the meeting with the head of state. The president highlighted some of his government's plans for the industry. In this cricket carnival that is coming, I want a night dedicated to Guyana night. So once you do this right, and you're able to build a Guyana night that is just simply unbelievable. We're going to send this across every single network in the Caribbean. We're going to send this across every single network in the region. And then we are going to build this unique one Guyana platform. His Excellency also encouraged the performers to establish a company collectively to make the creative industry more sustainable. But if we can have a company that is owned by the artists of Guyana, that is in agriculture, that is in livestock production. Now it sounds, it doesn't, it sounds appealing sometimes, but I'm telling you, it's a business model that you can win. With. Then we can make things sustainable in the industry. We can make things sustainable in the industry. So, as it is now, taking out the $25 million for the Literature Prize, we can easily have uh, $70 million, $5 million for all the stuff that you have to plan for, that we're going to work with to the end of the year. President Ali and a high-level government team held a virtual meeting with representatives from Mount Sinai Health System at State House. The government and a renowned New York-based health system have had numerous discussions over the last year to improve Guyana's primary health care services. Discussions have ranged from creating a national health plan to developing health care in specific areas such as oncology, cardiology and endocrinology with a specific focus on diabetes. The President was joined by Vice President Dr. Barr Chagdeo and the Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony. The head of state on Thursday conducted an inspection of the ongoing roadworks on the east bank of Damarara. The president, accompanied by a team of technical staff from the Central Housing and Planning Authority and the Minister of Housing and Water, Colin Kroll, made his first stop at the location for the new highway from Eccles to Diamond. Currently, the road is 25% completed. The first section, which will allow traffic to flow from Eccles to Providence Access Road, is 30% completed and is expected to be finished by the end of July. The second stop the president made was at the Higgs-Bosch Access Road, which is undergoing rehabilitative works. Currently, over 1,300 meters of concrete drain is being built to allow for the road to be rehabilitated and extended into a three-lane road from the Mandela to Eccles Access Road to the Windsor Estate Access Road. These road projects, when completed, are expected to provide significant relief to the flow of traffic during peak hours along the east bank of Damarara. Also on Thursday, Dr. Irfan Ali extended best wishes 
to Britain's Queen Elizabeth II for her Platinum Jubilee achievement and 96th birth anniversary celebration. During a reception held in her honor, at the residence of the British High Commissioner to Guyana. President Ali also celebrated the relationship between Guyana and the UK. But more importantly, this milestone that has blossomed and opened up such a strong relationship from government to government. In my most recent meeting with Prime Minister Boris, we are not talking about MOUs anymore. We have advanced the relationship between Guyana and the UK to be what we call government-to-government -government cooperation. The President was accompanied by the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and the Governance, Gail Teixeira, who is performing the functions of the Prime Minister. Additionally, President Irfan Ali has announced a $100,000 cash grant for each child living with a disability in Guyana. This grant will be given annually. We will go for supplementary provision to have the money. Dr. Ali has avowed to making available educational facilities for children living with disabilities in every region. Part of the whole development process is not only to create these classrooms and these safe zones and safe areas for the children, which will commence investment, uh, which will commence investment on with, uh, in this year. But more importantly, it is us trying to um, trying to build an environment a national environment in which the needs of every single person is taken, is taken into consideration. This has been the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week.